What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to Zoder Lawns. Super excited for this episode because we are doing some winter stripes and I can't wait to get into it. And we are back in business. I'm going to start by just blowing some of the leaves off the lawn here. We are three weeks into the overseed on this side and about 13 days into the overseed on the secondary side. So it is getting ready to be cut and time to mow. So we're going to set high to cut here to about seven eighths of an inch and let's enjoy the mow. So one thing I'll say is I noticed pretty quickly that I was going to have to cut this multiple times. Uh, the grass had not been cut since it had been overseeded and it was pretty long so a lot of the blades were getting laid over but that's okay. We want to make sure that we're doing this right. Um, I was taking quite a bit off but that's understandable. I actually had to dump already after only about four passes and we are back in it now just going to finish cleaning this up. The edges kind of look a little fuzzy and long, but I uh, was looking forward to edging those as well. So here is the second pass. If you notice, there is a little bit of dirt that is exposed on the side along by the bricks. Um, that side is just a little bit slower to grow, but after the mow today, I uh, did oh, reseed that section a little bit, so it will fill in within the next couple of weeks, and the whole lawn itself will continue to densen up, which I'm really excited for. If you really want good stripes in your lawn, I always recommend just making multiple passes. It really helps burn in the direction that the grass is laying and gets your cut super consistent. Uh, so today I end up actually making three passes here. And back in business. So here we go. I haven't cut these edges here in a while, so I want to make sure that the lines are as precise as possible because it's really a good starting point for how it's going to be for the next winter season. But this line here ended up looking just perfect. No problem at all. Coming up here on the second side, looking just fine, burned in that edge nice and clean. And last we have this nice tight angle. I did a lot of work to level off this area over the past year or two and it, the mower transition from the sidewalk into this area is just absolutely flawless. And here's the final section just coming down the edge. This side is always satisfying to cut because for some reason the grass grows really aggressively against those bricks. Be nice and helping out my neighbor here. Gotta cut those weeds back and try to make it look as clean as possible. All right, so here is the last and final pass. The sun was peeking through the clouds just before it dropped below the horizon. Gave the lawn an absolutely gorgeous color. I love the way that it's looking. As you can see when I'm going up these stripes here, it's really kind of solidifying those nice straight lines, which I really like. Gives it that uh, baseball, soccer kind of turf feel. and just making the final pass here and we are pretty much done. So I wanna make sure to blow off the section first just so I uh, get it looking as clean as possible and uh, don't leave too big of a mess for when the sun drops too low. We have this uh, gutter bench that makes it really easy to pick up the clippings from once they're blown in there. So I like to blow all the clippings in there and then I can easily pick them up and throw them in the catch, which I have already removed. 
All right, so the back sections, uh, they get a lot more shade than the front and they are slower to grow. So I am just gonna be string trimming them at a much higher height. I'm guessing that I'm probably at maybe an inch and a half uh, for the height here and just cleaning them up, giving them a nice level look as much as I can. Uh, when you have young grass, when you start cutting it consistently, even if it's light like this because I don't want to damage it with a mower, it just trains and conditions the grass to grow down and to grow thicker. And of course that's what we want going into the December and January months, which typically tend to be the coolest here in California. And here's the other side, trying to be as delicate as I can because the grass here is so new, but just trying to make sure it doesn't end up getting too long, too crazy on me and too wispy. So just very gently cutting it back. The front section here underneath the tree next to those two sprinkler vents, uh, just a lot slower to grow. And I noticed that probably right off the bat, some of the runoff did not allow the water to saturate there. So I did reseed that section uh, as well off camera after we finished here. And here is the final section. This is the back section. Uh, there is a little bit of clover and some lawn weeds that are poking through. So I'll be spraying those once the grass is a little bit more established. But just doing some final cleanups here and we are done. Just want to say thanks so much for tuning into this episode. And I look forward to seeing you next time.